to the Oceano Dunes State Vehicular Recreation Area. My name is Francesca and I work for California State Parks. Take a look around and notice all of the sand here in these coastal sand dunes. The dune habitat is made up of millions of tiny pieces of sand that pile up to form hills. Some dunes can be over 50 feet tall. Now you're probably wondering, where exactly does all of this sand come from, and how are these huge dunes created? In order to understand how dunes are formed, we must first figure out where this sand originates. Many people think sand comes from the ocean, because after all, these coastal dunes are right next to the beach. But would you be surprised to learn that the sand actually originates from a location hundreds of miles away from here? Let's learn about the rock cycle and the long journey that the sand has traveled before settling here at the Oceano Dunes. Here in California, large mountains exist inland from the coast. These mountain ranges lay parallel to the Pacific Ocean and are formed by layers of cooled magma, also known as igneous rocks. High up in these mountain ranges in central California, granite rocks and sandstone boulders dominate the landscape. Rivers and creeks are formed around these large rocks. When it rains high up in the mountains, the strong force of the water flowing down the rivers causes the rock to erode into smaller rocks. Weathering is when these rocks get rained on, the rain and the processes up in the creek turn these large rocks into slightly smaller rocks. The smaller rocks then turn into smaller, tinier rocks and eventually, as the process continues, and as the creek winds its way down through the mountains and out onto the beach, you end up with tiny rocks known as sand. Now here we have the Arroyo Grande Creek flowing out into the Pacific Ocean. And as you know, those rocks were broken up into tinier pieces, tinier rocks, small sand particles. The sand particles are now washed out through the creek and into the ocean. Those sand particles then settle just offshore, creating what's known as sandbars. These sandbars sit in relatively shallow water, and as the surf comes crashing up over the sandbars, tiny sand particles make their way back up onto the beach. Now once that sand is on the beach, then it's going to take a journey to up onto the coast to create the sand dunes. The sand particles continue to travel in the wind in an eastward onshore direction. The sand will continue to travel until it runs in to an obstacle. The obstacle could be the shape of an existing sand dune and then the particle just ends up on it and keeps accumulating or it could be some of the vegetation that you see up out here behind me today. These vegetated areas are very important for the structure of these dunes because it gives it some stability. Sand is constantly in motion. Saltation is the name of the process for sand being transported inland by the force of wind. While the sand is always in motion and the dunes are constantly shifting, large dunes are not created overnight. This process does take time and can even be measured on geological timescales. Thank you for joining me here today at the Oceano Dunes SVRA to learn about these amazing coastal sand dunes. To learn more, please follow our YouTube page or check out our website. Thanks.